previously on Don Garampa V3 Killing Harmony. Gonta, the perfect companion this time. Gonta, take care of you. Thank you. Um, what would gentlemen say? Gonta, keep you up all night. Um. That might not be completely <laughs> accurate. What? <laughs> That's it, right? Maki, I'm coming! Not Maki. I always call her Maki. Miu. Name is Miu. Hey, Miu. What's up, girl? I thought you were gonna come into my room for the love key. But I, gu I guess not. Maybe tonight? Huh? Huh? <laughs> what was that? What do you want? I'm busy. Should I hang out with her for a while? Even though it might not be safe to ask. Yes. Yes. Listen up! Fine, then help me. If you're gonna help me, you better do exactly as I say. Okay. Sure. I spent some time obeying these ridiculous orders. I somehow ended up growing closer to me. Should I like to give her a present? Definitely. Okay, so apparently she likes a fun book of animals. Yes. <laughs> I've wanted this for a while. I never expected you to have a Poochie. Fucking slugs! Why didn't you give it to me sooner? Jeez, you're just wasting my precious time. This whole thing about me is confession. I couldn't come up with a plan. <laughs> hey, Suichi, why the sad, miserable face? I guess I was the only one worried about it. <laughs> Since you look bum down, I got you a present. Uh, um, Is it another invention? <laughs> what a crazy idea! I almost feel sorry for you. Out of my way! I, Miyuriuma, will show you just how versatile how I really am. So here, take this. Hmm. Is this a pie? Sure. Yep, it's an apple pie. I baked it from scratch myself. I didn't think she would bring me a pie. It looks really professional. Miyu must be a really good cook. I'm proud I inspected the pie. That's what I found. Uh, um, is this a hair? <laughs> Don't worry, I added some hidden ingredients. Hidden ingredients. Wait! Don't worry, I'm gonna worry about hair in my food. <laughs> oh, but she made it with love, sweetie. Love. Please forgive me. I just wanted the person I like to eat me. I made more too. Cookies with my fingernails, chocolates with my blood. Okay, maybe not. At the very least, it means our confession was genuine. But she's, uh, coming on a little strong. Uh-oh, she's staring at me. She wants me to eat it. Uh, um, um, I'm really honored that you made this for me, but I'm concerned about the hygiene. And there are no hospitals around here, so we have to be careful. <laughs> you got a lot of balls to lecture me. But you know, a genius like me should be more careful with the stuff I make. Um, if anything happened to you, I might go crazy. <gasps> if that happened, the world will never recover, right? Isn't that right? Uh, okay. Y yeah. <laughs> oh well, I just have to make something else. Huh? What? <laughs> the time has finally come to use this. Oh my god, the thing she's making. A little bit too much. You whipped out the ray gun from earlier. Out of my way! Time to go, commando. Oh, is this the underwear disappearing one? She took aim and then... Ugh. Nah! A piece of fabric suddenly materialized in my hand. If I remember correctly, I think I know what this is. <laughs> what do you think of that, Switchy? Can you feel my residual heat? Y yes, yes I can! Listen up! You get it now? You've earned the right to date me. Huh? I what? That being said... When we get out of here, you're going on a date with me. Got it? It's already settled. Huh? It is? The doy, if you go on a date with me, I'll just explode with excitement. If you turn me down, the world will never recover. Understand? I'm pretty sure the ray gun she used was the one that makes underpants disappear and gave Sweetie her underwear. 
You're the only guy in the world who's ever made me feel this good. So you better take responsibility for what you've done. This is how Mew expresses her feelings. I see. Okay. All right. I understand. <laughs> it's a date. You promise. You better not forget. <laughs> <laughs> You smiled, but I returned it with something more akin to a grimace. <laughs> At the same time, she is showing me a lot of affection. I am happy that I am happy that I was able to make this kind of connection with Miyu. I'm a little, uh, no, I'm very nervous about this, but still, I'm sure we'll be okay. We'll get out of here together. Yay! Yeah, your friendship has deepened. You've learned a new skill: X X Triple X Ray Goggles. Ooh, triple x-ray. I then spent some time listening to Miu's delusional date ideas. Miu's undergarments. Yep, I was right. That's what he gave what that's what she gave him. <laughs> She's so funny. She's funny though, I like her. She's funny. There's still some time left. Really? Okay. Is your face alright? I mean, you're a little brat, but... It must have hurt. Wait, if I do Maki's... Um... Wait, where's my report? Oh, this is the report card. Uh, okay, I checked it there. So, yes, I just have one more with her. So hopefully I can complete hers in this one, too. I forgot I got one of hers. I didn't get any of the boys. <laughs> I should pick a boy. I don't know who to pick, though. It's flashlight. I kind of want to know what his deal is. I I think I'm gonna go for him later. Or Kaito, because he is dying. Uh, I don't know. I'm thinking about it. But first, I need to get all the coins to deepen my relationship with you, Maki. With, with you. You're my next girl. Okay, Maki. Hey, girl. Can't you really plan on becoming the Blackened? Maybe you should be more careful about letting him into your research lab. There are lots of poisons in there, so... What should I do? Should I hang out with Maki for a while? Yeah, yes. That's true. Should we go check your research lab to see if anyone took anything? Also, we can stay and watch in case anyone tries. Spend some time with Maki in my lab. Maki and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give her a present? Definitely! Here's some ice cream for you. Got some, got some fully automated shave ass machine for you. Strawberry syrup. Is this... This is something you should give to a child. You shouldn't give this to someone my age. Satisfied? Well, when we get out of here, I'll give it to the kids. That's why I gave it to me, right? Hmm. The close friend you mentioned before. I'm sure she's thinking about you. Hmm. Maki? Nope. She's not here anymore. She died. Huh? <gasps> died? Well, after I finished training, I went to see her. She died in a car accident, saving a child. Uh, um... No. <sighs> I was shocked. Why did I endure all that training then? But... That's right. She probably died happy, saving someone. And the memories of her I keep inside me have kept me alive till now. Even the whole orphanage. 
That's why I'll do everything I can to protect that place. Hmm. I see. She's such a nice girl. What is it? You look like you want to say something. Your face is gross, so spit it out already. Hey! I was thinking about what I can do. What I can do for you, Maki. What? Huh? For me? Maki, you're a normal girl at heart. I want you to live a normal life. I'm... I was thinking that you should leave being an assassin behind. Dude, it's not that simple. I've read enough books to know that enemies always come running towards you. And it's always like, just let me do this one last job. This one last job. You know how it is. Even the movies are like that. Um, perhaps I could use my detective skills to investigate assassin cult? This is stupid. That's impossible. Uh, um... You sound awfully sure. Because... The world isn't as simple as you think. You need assassins to do the dirty work. Who the hell do you think you are? Don't you think you're being presumptuous? But Maki... Are you okay with that? How annoying. Your question is unreasonable. How do I even answer that? Sorry. Well... Sweetie, she's just her best as a detective. Why don't you try to find solutions to problems where it won't have to lead to murder? Huh? Because... The people I assassinate aren't killed for simple reasons. It happens because certain complications occur and can only be settled with murder. You can... try to reduce the complications. Maki pouted stubbornly and turned her head. And if that happens, I, I guess I'll have to quit being an assassin. Maybe. Aww. No one else can do this. You're the only one who can do it, okay? Even with her head turned, I can see a smile on her lips. Oh, You like him. You do. So this is how Maki shows her thanks. Of course, I realize the situation isn't that simple. What's the point? Well, you are Kaito Psychic, so I shouldn't expect that much from you. But... That goes for you too, right? Aren't you kind of a psychic too? <laughs> I just had to say that. Maki faced me with a sly grin. I grinned back. I didn't think it was possible. The two of us smiling together. But I know. It's because Maki and I share a special bond. I swear on that bond, we will escape together. Yeah! Yay! You've learned a new skill. Financing. Maki and I parted ways and I returned to my room. I'll take present Maki's undergarments. It's a thong, apparently. Um, uh, what's this place called again? Hmm? W what time is it right now? I forgot. Hey! Actually, have I always been alone? I forgot that too. Ooh. Can't remember. I feel like I used to have something very important to me. <laughs> I can't remember! Monotaro! I knew it. He's helped without me. What the heck? Why are you hiding behind a pole? <laughs> Poor Monotaro. I feel like that's not normal either, just giving somebody your underwear. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I think those are just extras the game wants to give it to you, but yes, that is not normal. <laughs> Alright, time to go training. Kaito and Maki should be in the courtyard. Okay, let's go. Let's go, guys. Oh, there's two people here this time. Hi. Time for training. No, I want to talk to him. Shuichi! What's the matter? I recommend that you return to your room. There's a nighttime announcement just played. Okay. Uh, yes, after I'm done, I'll head straight back. Yeah. Please do. Another murder could occur if you're out of your room at night. I guess. That's right. I don't want to think about the killing game starting up again. Kukichi said all those unsettling things earlier. That's right. Kaito may have silenced him at the time, but I can't imagine Kokichi being so easily swayed. But... Kokichi's never serious. That was probably all his idea of a joke, right? Hmm... He may have been joking, he may have been serious too. 
It was very difficult to determine the sincerity of his statements. Remember! I never have any idea what he's thinking. That's what makes him dangerous. Yeah. Either way, we should not let our guard down. Another murder should not occur as long as we all stay vigilant. Yeah! Let's do our best. Exactly, Kibo. I agree. Tsumuki, what do you have to say? Um... What are you doing, Tsumuki? Huh? Suichi? Oh, nothing really. I had an awesome play when I was going back to my room. Jeez! Would have been fine if they just told us a time, but why did it have to be so melodramatic? Hmm. I don't know, but it's definitely too much. That is not funny. I'm more concerned about the moral implications. Aren't the Monocub siblings? But then... Please stop! How could they have such an inappropriate relationship with each other? No. Um, the Monocubs are bears, right? I don't know if human morals apply to them. Or actually, I guess they're robots, not bears. That's robophobic! <laughs> no one's robophobic. Hey now! You were the one who brought it up, Kibo. Your persecution complex is a bit over the top. He does have strong beliefs. Uh, anything else? Is that all the conversation I'm gonna have? Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, let's go train. Ooh. Hey guys! My voice, Jesus Christ. Hmm. Hey too, what's wrong? Do you have to go to the bathroom again? Nope. It's been like this because of what happened. What happened? What's wrong? Are you not feeling well? Ah. Fine, my stomach just hurts is all. Hey, for today's training, instead of exercise, ah. how about the three of us just talk? Huh? What? Talk? About what? Idiot. Stupid. Nobody decides what they talk about before they start. Well, let's go find somewhere to sit. Kaito picked the random spot in the courtyard and we all sat down. That's cute. That's so cute. So what are we gonna talk about? Didn't you just say we didn't have to decide that? Come on, man. That was just a joke. Uh, uh right. Then let's talk about mine. Me? What about me? You know, like general stuff about you. There's a lot of stuff we don't know. For example, what blood type do you like? I know a lot of stuff, Kaito. Because Maki and I share a special bond. What blood type do I like? Don't you mean, what's my blood type? Hmm? Did I say something weird? Well, whatever. <laughs> Kaito, you're kind of bad at this. <laughs> then you ask something. What's your question for her, huh? Am I like a guinea pig to you guys? Well, I have been meaning to ask. When we first met, you said you were the ultimate child caregiver. Why was that? Shuichi, that's way too direct. You can't just cut to the chase like that. Ah, uh, really? Sorry. All right then, let's play it safe and ask her about her favorite spaceship. I grew up in an orphanage. I knew that already. Hmm? I don't know anything about my parents. They were gone before I can remember. Maki slowly began to tell us her story. Oh, that's so cute! Oh At my the god! Where I lived, the older kids had to take care of the younger ones. Because of that, I started looking after the younger ones. I see. So that wasn't a lie then. For some reason, kids like me, but I'm not particularly fond of taking care of them. Maybe that suits you better than being an assassin. Nope. Not a matter of whether it suits me or not. I never had the right to choose from the start. Huh? The right to choose? <sighs> when I was around 10 years old, these strangers started visiting the orphanage. At first, it seemed like normal, kind of men. With smiles on their faces, they watched the kids play, but the men never approached them. Thinking back on it, I'm sure they were scoping out our talents. Huh? You were scouting for assassins? And that's why you were picked? Okay. I didn't want to go, but I heard they would donate a huge sum of money if I did. I remember thinking that I had to go. But that was the beginning of hell. 
Ever since that day, I trained to become an assassin. I think I had some natural talent to begin with, but I worked incredibly hard as well. If I couldn't keep up as an assassin, the orphanage would no longer receive funding. And then, I wouldn't have a purpose in life anymore. Training was difficult. I vomited every day, and cried every night. But after vomiting and crying over and over again, my heart gradually became empty. Eventually, I got used to it. It was the same after my first job. For a while, I couldn't eat or sleep. But after doing this for such a long time, I felt numb. There were times I wondered why I had to kill these strangers. But I eventually stopped thinking about that. I adapted to the lifestyle of killing people, of stealing their lives, and of being a horrible person. Even to this day, I think the same thing after I finish a mission. What is it? What would I have been like if I stayed at the orphanage? I still think about that all the time. Maki sighed deeply after bearing her soul. <sighs> That's all. It wasn't an interesting story to listen to, was it? Uh, okay. Interesting? No, Maki, that was the burden you've been carrying all this. Ah. Jeez, you're carrying too many burdens for someone so small. You know. Well, I can say the same, sweet cheek. Uh, um. Really? Listen up. Don't try to shoulder everything on your own. You gotta trust other people. Once you're able to share your burns with other friends, you'll be stronger. <laughs> well, if Makiro was able to talk this much, it means she's gotten a bit stronger already. That's true. Might be thanks to the training. Got it. Well, obviously, my training is based on a systematic method. Uh, um. That's kind of vague. We spent a long while talking about whatever came to our minds. Most of it was meaningless conversation, but it might have been the first time I was able to actually have fun to forget this place. To protect my friends, I need to reveal the truth of this academy. I need to face the truth and reveal it to the world. I have to. I have to keep my friends alive. <gasps> oh my god, what is he gonna do? His white's half whiter than freshly made rice. His black half darker than blacker than a darkest night. Did you call for me? It's Mana 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 hmm. You actually came. Hmm. So I guess I'm allowed to do this, huh? <laughs> Is it really okay for me to talk to you in private like this? Um. Is he a split personality or something? That's really creepy. Uh. Yeah. Technically, a lot of rule violation. Besides, I can't pass up an opportunity to make the killing game more exciting. Right? I was thinking the same thing. This fun and vicious killing game is the only thing on my mind. And another thing. With that said, you're not even gonna try and use that motive. You really don't get it. A crazy motive like this should be used in a more dramatic way. No? That's what I've been thinking. So I tried coming up with ways to use it. Well, you know. I finally came up with an idea. So this is my proposal. A certain someone is planning something interesting. So if we use the motive there, <laughs> then I think that would really spice up the game. So, are you in? <laughs> you really are an evil bastard. Yeah. Of course, I am the ultimate supreme leader, you know. Let's have more fun. Um... I will drag this world into the pits of terror, using my villainous power to commit evil. I hope that was evil enough. <laughs> this face looks so weird, I can't. You can't trust a dishonest man to be dishonest. It's the honest, it's the honest ones you want to watch out for. Cause you can never predict when they're gonna do something incredibly stupid. It's honestly easy to go through life without telling a single lie. Which means honest people are just lazy jerks who'd rather coast through life. By the way, 
recent trend of encouraging, hon encouraging honesty is actually a lie. You see, that's better for liars if there are more honest people in the world to deceive. They've been lying about that trend, so there can be more stupid honest people. But that might be a lie too. <laughs> Would you like to use the love key? Yes! Who is it? What? Hi! Okay, I don't understand why I'm getting these people that I've never formed a relationship with. Every time I come here, I play the role of their ideal, like some shared fantasy. What kind of fantasy does Kaito have in mind? I'm nervous, but I want to know. Huh. I'm surprised you didn't run off with your tail between your legs. Huh? I mean, we've each got 99 wins now, so this will decide the true winner. All right, let's end this. What happened? Wait, wait, what? This is what Kaito had in mind. What kind of role do I play in this fantasy exactly? Uh, um, uh, we each have 99 wins. Was I in some kind of competition? Huh? What, are you looking back on things before the final battle or something? That's right. The first time we met, it was in the sky. Huh? The, the sky? Listen up. I'm Kaito Momoda, luminary of the stars. I decided that before I entered the vast universe, I could conquer the blue sky. Yeah. And there you were. Wait! I was there? Wait, what in the world am I supposed to be? <laughs> we didn't even know each other's names during our first airplane race. Ah, I see. We're pilots or something. Kaido's fantasy is just as eccentric as he is. Hey, so it was the beginning of a heated battle over who was fastest and coolest. <laughs> but I never dreamed a battle would last this long. Uh, um, we both won the air race 99 times, and the next race is winner take all. Okay. Pretty much. There's no more extra innings. You got it. Yeah, this is it. Hmm. Kaito, something wrong? Nah. It's just. Honestly, I feel like it's a waste to put an end to our fight. I wish these days could last forever, you know? That's... Kaito... What if we kept racing forever? I'm sure some races would be fun, others bad. But somehow I know that we would always enjoy them, together. Hey! I feel the same way, Kaito. I love flying with you. I see. It's like, even though we're rivals, our hearts are one. I like that. But, one way or another, this has got to come to an end. I'm Kaito Momota, Luminary of the Stars! The sky we flew through together wasn't so bad, but my true destiny is the universe. That's true. Yeah, you're right, Kaito. What's the matter? Where's your fire, man? It's gonna be our final race. Come at me with everything you've got. Hmm. Yeah, right. It's just that, uh, I don't know if I get excited about this. It's not as if we can actually fly. Dumbass. No, you don't get it. Huh? What? In a heartbeat, I found myself backed up against the wall. His presence overwhelming That's me. That's enough! Are we really gonna go into our final race like that? Kaito shouted and slammed his palm against the wall near my head, staring into my eyes. What's the matter? Where's that determined glare of yours? No. Kaito, you... I barely managed to meet his gaze. He felt so close, looking down at me. That's when I remembered where I was and... Kaito! Uh, but back up a little. Eyes darted around the room, focusing on that weird bed behind him. I was so caught up in a fantasy that I forgot where I was for a minute. With Kaito so close to me, in a place like this, it's hard to stay calm. Don't screw around! I'm not gonna back up. Huh? What? Come on, man. I really think I'm gonna do what you say. Rather than backing off, he brought his face. Just inches from mine. Jeez. You're the first. Nobody else has ever made me want to stay in one place for so long. I want to get to the universe as fast as I can, but I don't want this to end. Hey. You understand what that means? I know that as long as I'm here, I'm Kaito's ideal, so I... I understand, Kaito. I hope to keep to your heart. But... Well, I guess you wouldn't understand. There's no way you feel the same. Anyway, it's not like me to start babbling like this. Kaito took a quick step back. I still held a deep breath I didn't realize I was holding. Listen up, Shuichi Saihara! If I win, there's something I gotta tell you. Something you have to tell me? Could that mean... Now that it's been decided, I wanna hurry up and say it already. Let's go. 
I had to march to the exit, and I hurried after him. If he wants to tell me something after the race, then it's not something I, I can ask him. He has to tell me himself. All right. I'm gonna win, so I can finally say it to you. Uh, okay. What? Just okay. You gotta say I won't lose or screw you. No. Uh, well, I don't plan on losing. I was just curious as to what you have to say, Kaito. Shut up. Then I say I was gonna win, so just hit me with some trash talk already. <laughs> what a mess. And so, we two aviators headed to one last race, together. Official announcement from Ultimate Academy. It is now 8 a.m. Oh, oh. Where did he run off to? Probably with some other woman, I bet. <laughs> but it's fine. As long as he's happy, I'm fine with that. Don't worry. Maybe not today, but someday I'm gonna be happy too. Oh. Monotaro. Darling, what's the matter? Mono funny. I finally remember. Oh. I need you, Monophony. I. Too convenient, huh? I know I'll only hurt more by saying stuff like that. <laughs> I'm sorry for everything. Goodbye. Hey. Wait, you silly man. Yeah? Monotaro. My goodness. Your body is coming apart. You really can't do anything on your own. Hey. Alright, come here. I'll sew you back up. <laughs> Thank you, Monophony. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Why are you crying? That's, that's so not like you. What the heck is happening with them? The end. Oh, did their story finally come to an end? <laughs> Were they acting this whole time? What? Is it morning already? Last night with Kaito. Was that a dream? Yeah, just a dream. What the hell of an ending was that? That was way too long for an announcement. Well, I need to go to the dining hall. All right. So I'm pretty sure that's going to be the end of the free time and for this chapter because it looks like Kokichi's up to something and I actually cannot wait to see what he's gonna do uh, when I play next time but I am pretty disappointed that the two people I got for the love keys were not the people I leveled up with in relationship like I am maxed with Miyu now I am maxed with Maki now and yet I got Gonta who I've never spoken to during free time and Kaito who I've only spoken to once accidentally, but I restarted, so that doesn't count. Yeah, I don't understand. Ugh, why? I hope Maki and Miyu are still in the next chapter, so that I can hopefully get something with them. Because uh, I didn't get the love keys to get Gonta and Kaito. <sighs> That's so disappointing. And I will see everyone next time.